Hey friends, hey friends. So happy Monday. Monday's always a great day to think, reset. I used to hate Mondays though when I had a job. Because Monday meant that I got five more days to go to work and I hated my fucking job. So some of you maybe can relate, but I hated my damn job. And I hated my supervisor. That bitch was a dingbat. And, you know, some of my coworkers I liked. Um, but most of them, you know, they were just, you know, they were just complaining about money all the time. And I just said, you know what? This is bullshit, yo. This is, I don't know how people survive, man, at jobs. But money, credit, taxes, and business. Okay, guys, the only way. The only, 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 only way how to utilize other people's money is through credit and business. The only, only way to utilize other people's money, write that down in your notes or whatever. The only way to utilize other people's money is through credit and business, okay? How? When you apply for a credit card or when you apply for a line of credit, what happens is the bank loans you other people's money, okay? You're using other folks' money, okay? That money's not yours, right? It's not coming from your bank account. Is coming from the bank and where does the bank get money from the bank gets money from where depositors okay the bank gets money from depositors okay bank gets money from depositors I'm a depositor you're a depositor everyone is a depositor right well majority of people right so they use those people's money, which is other people's money, to now lend it to me, you, whoever else, to get lines of credit, credit for your home, credit for your business, credit cards to do whatever you want to do, right? It's not your money. It is someone else's money. So in leveraging someone else's money, okay, in leveraging someone else's money, I want you guys to catch this. And leveraging someone else's money, guys, you're using someone else's hard-earned money to go make you money. This is why I can never be broke, because I understand this now, right? Of course, there's levels to it, but I understand that all I got to do is get my credit right. All I got to do is get my credit to about $750, and I can access up to $100,000, $200,000 in lines of credit to go build my business, grow, and scale my business. What? And I don't have to pay back $200,000, and I don't have to pay back $100,000 right? I'm only paying back what I use and I don't even have to pay it off. I just got to keep the balance under 30%. <laughs> Credit is a game. It's a game. It's a bank's game. They figured out a way how to create these institutions to lend people money, and this is how the banks make money. The bank don't make money when we deposit money, when we got money sitting in the bank, no. The bank makes money when they loan money out to us for our houses, for our cars, for our you know, businesses, for our you know, college or school or whatever. That's when the bank makes money. So the bank wants to lend money, but they're not just gonna give you you know, 400 credit score. They're not gonna say, oh, here you go. Because what is credit? And I teach this in uh, you know, my Black Wolf class. What is credit? Credit is your ability to pay back. Okay? Your ability to pay back your debt over time, on time. 
not just whenever you feel like paying your debt, okay? Your ability to pay your debt back on time, over time, okay? So if you get a new line of credit or you get a new credit card and your credit score is, you know, let's say say 600, because you could get a 500 to $1,000 uh, credit line or credit limit or credit card um, if you got like a 600 credit score, right? And if you're paying your payments and you're staying under the 30% utilization and you're paying your payments, even if you just pay your minimum payments, you're paying your minimum payments on time, let's just say for three months, do you know the credit company would increase your credit by default? They will increase your credit by default. <laughs> I, my, they, they raised my credit limit and I didn't even know it. I was like, what happened? Y'all raised my y'all raised my credit score? Hold up. I mean, y'all raised my credit limit? I didn't even know. I called. She was like, oh, yeah, they meant to send you the letter. They forgot to send you the letter, so they're going to send you the letter. I was like, oh, I mean, I wasn't, like, upset, but I just didn't know. But because I paid my credit card on time, every time, over time, they feel like, you know what? Tanisha's trustworthy. She's trustworthy with some money. We can trust her with some funds. So we're going to give her access to even more money. See that? That's how it works. That's how it works, right? Unfortunately, if we would have learned this in school, guys, we would have so many more people that we'd be financially literate right now, okay? So you use other people's money to go make you money, and then all you got to do is stay under the 30% utilization. You don't use credit to pay bills. You don't use credit to go on vacation. You don't use credit for school supplies. You don't use credit. You use other people's money to go make you money. That's the key to building wealth and getting rich and never being broke. You're using other people's money to make you money business it is other people's money that is being exchanged for a product or service that you have business is exchanging a product or service for that person's money they hard earned money they giving you they work you know all week or they worked all month and now you selling tea or you selling bracelets or you selling hats or caps or some, whatever the hell you selling. Selling credit, uh, uh, you know, selling a service. It doesn't matter. That person has to see the value in your product and service for them to even save up or even to give you their hard earned money. Remember, people work hard for their money, unfortunately. Right? Working hard is not the key to success. Working hard is not the key to riches. Working hard is not the key to wealth. Okay, so as I learn and grow, my mind changes. That guess what? That means my money changes because I don't need a lot of cash. I just need unlimited credit, and that's what I'm working on. I don't need a lot of cash. I don't need to have a hundred grand in the bank. No, I need to have a hundred grand line of credit because I am more flexible to do more things because I can actually go turn that credit into cash. So the only way, guys, that we're tapping into other people's money is through credit. But you got to have good credit and business. And you got to have a business. If you don't have a business, you can't get other people's money. Unless you're just borrowing it. And that's not other people's money. Because you're not exchanging anything. Because now you got to give it back. Right? When, you, when I sell something to someone, I don't have to turn around a year later or five months later or 30 days later and give it back. No. They got their service. I got my money credit right the purpose of it is to get a hundred thousand dollar line of credit or fifty thousand dollar line of credit or twenty thousand dollar right i just got one of my clients she got access to twenty thousand twenty thousand dollar line of credit she has right now she can pay off her bills she can consolidate she can consolidate all of her bills today literally okay and then pay that off because we do no interest for two years okay and then she can pay that off okay but you got to be a part of my business right people are asking me oh can i apply for the line of credit that you're talking about yeah if you're a part of my business if you're my econ which is 35 dollars a month 50 dollars once yeah i'm not just going to let anybody just get into my network and you're not even serious of even you know trying to even build your credit no that makes sense to me i'm a businesswoman i'm not out here for charity 
<laughs> I'm not out here giving out welfare checks. No. Okay? I'm helping the people that want to help themselves. See, welfare is all about helping people who don't want to help themselves. I'm not interested in that. <laughs> I'm interested in those that saying, I want some help. I have the funds to get some help. I want to start a business. I want to fix my credit. I want to get healthy. I want to do something better with my life. I have the money to do it. Only when you exchange with people, guys, is, where, is how you can really truly help them. Okay? When you exchange is how you can truly, people can truly get help. Okay? You can't go to your therapist and say, oh, you know, help me with my problems for free. No, they billing your insurance company. Your insurance company is getting billed. You know, you, you cannot go to Mercedes Benz and say, oh, I want that car. Can you give it to me? Yeah, if you got good credit, we can give it to you. If you got some, a down payment, <laughs> we can give it to you. They helped you. They helped you get your dream car. You can't go and say, oh, I just want that house right there. Okay, well, you got to have good credit. You got to have a down payment. And we got to know what you're trying to do. And we got to know how much you're going to be paying every month. <laughs> Yeah, they helped you get your dream home, but you had to come to the table and want to be helped. So people get that twisted, right? Oh, you said you were going to help. Yeah, help the people that want to be helped. The people that got some money that want to be helped. Not people who want welfare. Welfare is for the people who don't want to be helped. I mean, people who don't want to help themselves. They just want the government to do everything. They just want to be entitled. Right? I'm not like that. <laughs> I want to help those who want to help themselves, who's willing to sacrifice, who's willing to sacrifice money, time, energy, effort. Not those who say, oh, give me this, give me this, give me that. And I don't want to, I don't want to give you nothing. The person that wants something for nothing is a dangerous person. They will do everything in their power to get what they want for nothing. And I'm not interested in that type of energy. I'm not interested in those type of people. Okay. When people call me, text me, email me, oh, Tanisha, I'm going to take out money from my 401k. Okay. Oh, Tanisha, I'm going to, you know, save up some money from my job to get into your class. Okay. Nobody can't come and say, oh, can I get it for free? Nope. And guess what? <laughs> I don't even want you in my class. Because <laughs> you have that entitlement mentality. Right, so the only way you get other people's money, the only way I bought my bins is with other people's money. The only way I'm paying my mortgage at my house is with other people's money. Because I know how to exchange products and services for money. So again, guys, it's a lot of stuff that we didn't learn. Right, Go to blackwealth101.net. Okay, it's a lot of stuff that we did not learn in life. Simple things that could have made us rich. Where we all could have an extra 10 grand in a bank or 10 grand in stocks or 10 grand working for us right now. But we didn't know. Unfortunately, we don't realize we don't know until it's too late. We don't realize this until we like 40 and it's like, well, damn. By the time you're 40, you're already setting your ways. By the time you're 40, you're already broke. By the time you're 40, now you live and check the check. So it's hard. But all I know, the only way you get other people's money, you want other people's money, is through credit and business. <laughs> Period. That's the only way. Your e-commerce business, you selling something. Okay? You got credit, that means you buying something or you growing your business. You growing your empire. That's the key to get rich. Trust when I tell you this. So, if you're interested in learning more, I have a 12-month program. Okay? Blackwealth101.net is $25 a month. I got about, about 16 to 20 hours of content right now on money, credit, and finance for 25 bucks a month. I mean, that's $250 a year. Right? About $250, $300 a year that you're spending to learn the shit that I'm spending thousands for. Okay, I'm spending thousands of dollars to get this knowledge and I'm giving it to you for 25 bucks a month for 12 months. Okay, it's not a contract or anything, but agree to commit to your finances for 12 months. And if you cancel, guess what? 
you can no longer get involved and you can no longer join any of my other programs because you're not serious. If you can't pay $24 a month for 12 months, you're not even going to be serious about paying Amazon $40 a month. You're not even going to be serious about paying uh, my econ uh, $40 a month. You're not even going to be serious about getting the TLC and paying them $125 a month. So don't even worry about it. Right? I'm not, I'm not looking for losers. I'm looking for people saying, Tanisha, I got the desire to want more. I have the desire to win. I just don't know the path. I just don't know how, you know how much people I help. You know how much people I help quit their job? You know how much people like thank me every day, Tanisha? Thank you. For for, pay, for for paving the way. So I know I'm on the right track. So the naysayers can say what the fuck they want to say. The haters can say what the hell they want to say. I know I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm blessed every day. My bills pay. I ain't worried about a damn thing. I ain't got nobody after me. Nobody trying to kill me. I know I'm doing the right thing. Now I got haters that's hating probably. Probably you know trying to tear me down. But that's haters. Because they mad. Because I got something that they don't have. That's it. That's all a hater is. They just mad that you have something that they don't have when they can go and get the same thing. They just too damn lazy to go out and get it and work for it. So the only way, guys, we're going to get other people's money, guys, is through business and credit. So go to blackwealth101.net.